Here is a look on how you can use Zapier to connect the registration data collected through ZapEvent to a marketing list in MailChimp. To get started, navigate to zapier.com. Either log in to your existing account or sign up for a free Zapier account here. Once you have successfully logged into your account, navigate to your account dashboard and click the Make a New Zap button. Then you're going to start by giving your Zap a name. I'm going to call mine MailChimp Marketing List. First, I'm going to choose my trigger app, which is going to be Zap Event. Next, I'm going to choose the trigger, which is New Participant. Then it's going to ask me to connect to a Zap Event account. If you connected to a Zap Event account in Zapier before, you'll see a list of all of your accounts here. And otherwise, you have the option of creating or adding a new account here. And it will bring you back to zapevent.com to fill out your username and password and to authorize your account. So I'm going to select my account. I'm going to click Test Account to make sure that the connection is working. And once I see that green check mark, that's telling me that the connection is working and I can continue on. Next, I'm going to select my event. Here in the drop down, you'll be able to see your most recent events on zapevent.com. If you don't see your event listed, you can choose use a custom value and enter your event ID here. If you're unsure of your event ID, you can navigate back to Zap Event Admin System um, and under the My Events list, click on the event you want to connect to and navigate to the event info. And here you'll find your event ID and your activity IDs. I'm going to hit continue. And now I'm going to see a list of things to double check. You're going to want to make sure you have at least one recent participant registered for an event. They'll use this as sample data to show you how your Zap will look. And you're going to want to make sure that the trigger options below match what you want. So I'm going to use a custom value and then here's my event ID or your event name. Fetch and continue. Now it's looking for that existing participant. Once you see a test successful, that means it was able to view your participant information. So I'm going to hit continue. And now I'm going to choose my action app. For this example, I'm going to use MailChimp. And now I can select where I want my action to be. So once a new participant registers, do I want them to be added to a new as a new subscriber on a list in MailChimp, unsubscribe them to a list in MailChimp, or do I want to search by finding a subscriber or finding a campaign in MailChimp? So you have a lot of options. I'm going to choose add subscriber, save and continue. I'm connected to my MailChimp account. Um, if you don't have one, you'll have the option to connect to a new account. And I'll type in username and password and log in. And then you'll test your account to make sure you are successfully connected. Once I see that green check mark, I know I'm good. So I'm going to click save and continue. And now I'm going to select what information I want to be imported into MailChimp. I have to choose what list I want my new participants to be added to. Here I have a Zapier test list I'm going to add it to. Next I'm going to choose the email. Here you'll see a list of all the questions that a participant is asked during registration on Zap Event. So you can choose which field you'd want to map it to. For an email address I'm going to select user email. Under double opt in, I'm going to select no because I don't want to send an email to a participant once I've added them to my marketing list. Um, under send welcome email, I'm going to select yes. Um, so I'll create a custom welcome message in MailChimp that will get sent out every time a new participant is added to a marketing list. Um, under update registration, I'm going to leave that as no. And then group. Um, you can create subgroups within your marketing list. I'm going to leave mine blank for now. Um, lastly, then I'm just going to map the first name field in MailChimp to the first name entered during the registration process on Zap Event. And then last name, I'm going to map that to the last name entered during registration on Zap Event. Here I'm going to see a sample of all of my data. 
This is going to be the information that MailChimp reads. I have my marketing list, emails, I'm going to send a welcome email, and the first name and last name are all going to be pulled. Then you have the option if you want to send a test email with using that sample data. I'm going to choose to skip my test. I'm going to click continue, and then it's going to ask me if I'm ready to turn my zap on, and I am. And it's easy as that. Now, anytime someone registers for my event, it's going to automatically add that registration data to my marketing list in MailChimp. Check out more Zapier tutorial videos here or subscribe to the Zap Event YouTube channel here.